compartments rise above you, pinching together, trapping the air. Buses loom to spit out fumes as thick as dust, and it sticks to you. It's been a long day. You walk fast, ignoring the ache from eight hours of running between tables and kitchen. Eight hours of smiling at people who don't love you. You reach the weather door, home, sanctuary. The door closes, the screeching traffic becomes a dull drone, and you walk the 84 steps to your apartment. Another door to close, some more warmth, a cup of tea. You dart out of the shared kitchen, past the final door to a worn chair. The computer starts up, headphones on. It is a game about shooting someone, so you shoot someone. It is a game about picking things up, so you pick something up. It is a game about making choices, so you make a choice. It is a game about doing the best you can, so you do the best you can. The best you can is not good enough, so you put on an act. You've done this before. You know how to satisfy people like this. Big smile. The customer comes first, always ready to help. Your needs do not matter. Empathy is a river, and you are upstream. You put aside your values. You stop doing what you want. You stop making choices, because the choice is made for you. It is a game about pleasing other people, so you please other people. You say what they want you to say and do what they want you to do. You go to the places they ask you to. Not between tables and a kitchen anymore, no, you cross a whole galaxy. Go check in on a man two solar systems away and come back. No credit for that, no big deal. That's just your job, minimum expectations. No round of applause, and you picked up the wrong thing again. Who is playing who here? You look at your hands, hands you do not control, hands that seem to belong to someone else, and see no evidence of yourself. Your non-existence makes you feel faint. Back in your chair again, it's getting late. Pasta, tea, shower, bed. You think about calling your mum, but you can't. 